I have been traveling all across Romania for the last three months now and I want to share with you guys some do's and don'ts of traveling in Romania from my own experiences. I have traveled here solo and sometimes with my wife who is Romanian and if you don't know me I'm an Indian. The first advice I would like to give you guys is that when you travel to Romania learn some basic words and phrases in Romanian because uh, if you deal with government officials, if you have to deal with the bus booking, train booking, local purchase, most of the vendors uh, or these people don't know English, the young generation knows English a little bit but mostly you'll deal with old people behind the desk and they don't know any English at all and I'm speaking from my own experience. I have learned a lot of Romanian in the last three months surprisingly. It's easy to pick up the language because when you know it's really I mean this is what uh, you are depending on. So try to learn some phrases it will really help you a lot. The second advice I will give you is uh, that do not stay in Bucharest. Bucharest is the capital of this country by the way. So if you come to Romania right away, straight away go to the countryside. Maybe go to the central part of Romania which is Transylvania. Transylvania for me is like the most beautiful part of this country with amazing gothic architecture. It's like a medieval town. So go to countryside, go to villages, go to go to the uh, seaside, the Black Sea, Vama Veke. Go to these places. Don't stay in big cities like Bucharest so much because Romania has so much much so much much more to offer when you uh, stay away from the main cities. Next advice I will give you guys is about transport and about transport my opinions have changed in last three months and the latest opinion is that actually in my last video I said the train system and the bus system is fairly good in Romania but this is not the truth. Train system is almost fucked up. Here you pay your train ticket not to reach from point A to point B but to just see the landscapes. <laughs> I'm saying this because recently what happened a train was coming from Timisoara to some other place and the train one of the wagons got detached from the rest of the train and they didn't know what happened. They continued their journey only after one hour they realized that they have left one wagon uh, somewhere in the fields people wondering there what happened and they come back to pick them up as if nothing happened kind of uh, very complex it's not very good uh, railway system here and buses are also I didn't find them really you know good information about buses or it doesn't look so streamlined but what you can rely on is like my favorite mode of transport in Romania is uh, hitchhiking but if it's, it's something that you don't do uh, you can also use blah blah car blah blah car is something where you share your ride with people who are traveling to some places and you pay them some money which is fixed and which is um, sometimes half of the train fare you pay for example if you have to go somewhere and the train ticket is 80 lei so you might have to pay just 30 to 40 lei uh, if you're using the car it's also a good way to know some local people and talk to them enrich your experience of the culture and society of Romania I have found it very good. I have done a lot of hitchhiking and used blah 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 car twice, blah 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 car twice, and both the times it was a fun experience. Using these modes of transport will be better than um, using a train here. Next thing I would say when you're taking money out of uh, when you need money, uh, avoid using ATMs. Go inside the bank and ask the people working there to uh, help you take money from within the bank because uh, one that uh, Romania has high level of cyber crime that's what I read I don't I'm not sure but also recently what happened my card was blocked because I was trying to take money and maybe I was trying to take more money than the limit allows me and my card was quickly blocked by my bank in India but this is how it works cards may get blocked by using ATM sometimes and the director of the one of the impor most important banks here because I happened to talk to her she told me to uh, always use the bank like go inside the bank and take the money which is the safest uh, method of taking money if you are in a new country so a good advice please follow it try to know the prices of things before you make in, make an actual purchase because the bus drivers might at times try to fool you and take more money from you and it can happen in small grocery stores as well so try to understand how the money works here and uh, what are the prices beforehand so for example if you're taking a bus uh, before you board the bus ask other people who are boarding the bus like how much is the ticket there or if you know someone like the hotel you stayed in or the friend who, with whom you stayed ask them the prices and then you know you know anyone would know these basic things just know that people are really honest and innocent and nice here but you can find those kind of people everywhere who will try to take more money from you just because you are a tourist tourists have money next advice 
you might find it awkward and funny when you come to Romania this is true for any other country also the first place you should go is a grocery store because there you meet real people doing real things dealing with real money in a real environment they will be in a place where they don't have their shields off or their masks on they are completely natural that's what they do that's that's a that's a very important method of learning about how the society works in general you will see how people are in the queues how people are uh, talking to each other how people are dealing with the uh, with the with the people who are working there you know they won't see you as a tourist and something very different they might see that they might think that you work in that around that area area or you live in that country and you will also make a lot of friends maybe maybe you will uh, have some people who will tell you about directions who will tell you about more about the city about the place you're traveling to so it's always a good idea to go to a grocery store to start your traveling so that you have idea and also you can cook your own meal buy go to grocery stores uh, buy things from uh, there cook your own meal save money when you're in romania know that you are safe Romania is very safe. Uh, all the Romanians out there listening to me right now or all of the tourists who have traveled to Romania, if you had any kind of uh, other experiences, please let others, others know in the comment section. But my experience says that you are pretty safe day and night, girl or boy, it seems pretty comfortable and uh, safe everywhere. Oh, this thing is very important. It's not recently, it's been almost 25, how many years? So 1989 was the time when uh, Ceausescu, the communist leader, was killed and uh, since then there is no communism in this country but there are uh, old people. So there are two kind of people here. Some old people who really miss that, that time because somehow it was benefiting them, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. But there are other people who are, who, who are really affected by communism. So you don't want to make jokes about communism here. You want to, don't want to... If you want to be on a safe side, just do not talk about communism. Maybe talk to young people who you know and who know you. You can just discuss with them. But never ever use humor or um, any unsafe way of uh, talking about uh, communism in Romania. Uh, it's, uh, it's not a good idea. Trust me. And last but not the least very important one. Romanians love to have a good conversation. So if you meet someone, just sit with them, drink a beer or a coffee, talk to them. They love to have good conversation. They love to know about different cultures. They love to know about foreigners who are coming, their cultures, the society, their food. So be open, be a, be a little bit open and talk a lot with people. They love a good conversation. They will, in return, they will give you a lot of love and help and food and accommodation and whatever. You just pick what you want. You can get everything in this country. Apart from all the bad things that Romania has, uh, which are not very, uh, like, which will not affect a tourist in a very big manner. So there's no point discussing them. Like people can sometimes uh, treating me as a gypsy because of my hair or my bed or my skin color. The security guards inside the shopping complexes uh, always being around me thinking I'm going to steal something. So you have to understand these things from their point of view, not being angry on them or something. It's just that I'm, I might, uh, uh, another gypsy or Roma might look like me and not even all of them are thieves or something. But you know the how it, the image of uh, gypsies, like Romanians think uh, I am a gypsy, English people think Romanians are gypsy, you know, it's all uh, that kind of thing I'm talking about. So don't mind small negative uh, experiences that you have in this country. This country is so beautiful and so enriched with abundance of natural beauty and uh, beautiful people, helpful and kind, warm, welcoming people that you will have an amazing experience and I am almost on the verge of finishing my travels. I have like a little bit more than a, more than a week left and I'm planning to go to Danube Delta. So after that I'm back to India and I'll be vlogging from India. Also guys if you want to know more about Romania I have uh, made some videos in the past about how expensive is Romania to travel and top five myths and misconceptions about Romania. You can see those videos I have been to seaside and mountains I've, and I've made videos from there. I will put the links in the description. If you are new to this channel, this channel is all about traveling and budget traveling and finding cheaper ways to fulfill travel dreams and sharing stories along the way. So if you consider subscribing it will be good for me to make more videos and for you to enjoy more traveling uh, videos as well alrighty then bye bye guys very nice to talk to you again.